In today's video, you want to look your best for Vegas. You want to go from 24% down to 12% and see your abs. I'm going to tell you what you need to do with your cardio, what you need to do with your diet, and what you can expect along the way. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul Ravella from ProPhysique.com. And today's video is one of the most common questions I get. You've got something coming up. You got an event and you're in a pretty good spot but you wanna to get to a great spot. So I got a great question from right here on my Instagram direct message. So you guessed it, go there, ask me your questions or leave a comment below. I love addressing the questions that you guys have for me. Real world advice and we're starting right now. I'm 35, I work out six days a week, have a home gym, still go to the gym for more equipment. 5'10", 206, 24% body fat and I wanna to get to 12. Eating around 2000 calories, I wanna see my abs. Doing about 20 minutes of cardio on the treadmill every day, should I add more cardio? I have two months until we go to Las Vegas and I wanna look my best. So let's talk realistic numbers at 5'10". What are you gonna to have to get down to to see your abs? And I'm gonna be real with you guys here because a lot of people have misconceptions around how much body fat they carry. And every time I diet down, I've been dieting for a while guys, I'm reminded that we have a lot more body fat than we think. We all think there's this number we're gonna hit and it's gonna be a good look for us. At 5'10", probably 170, 175, that's gonna be the look. I know, it's a number that we probably don't wanna hear. I'm six foot three, I typically walk around around 230 pounds. And for me to look like this, right now I'm about 205, guys. Like 25 pounds of body fat off a body composition that I actually liked to see my abs. My abs look good right now, I'm not gonna lie though. You don't believe me? Let me see. They look better in the morning, but you know how that goes. But the point is, the expectation for most people is that we can just lose five or 10 pounds and reach the goal body composition that we want for this. So you're doing 20 minutes of cardio. That's nothing. I do 20 minutes of cardio a day just cleaning my house, right? Get up, do more cardio. 2,000 calories is a good amount. You also said about 2,000 calories. That is a red flag for me. That is a trigger for me as a coach. Start tracking, okay? The only way to get from a place where you're comfortable to a place where you wanna get is to get uncomfortable. That means paying more attention to your diet, okay? So if you're at 2,000 calories and you're at 20 minutes of cardio, let's talk real numbers. What should we be at? Listen, I think you can very comfortably be doing 30 to 45 minutes of cardio a day, no problem. I think you can also very comfortably be down at 1800 calories, okay? Now, how you break up those macronutrients is gonna be very important. You wanna make sure that your protein, your carbs, your fats are all in a good place to optimize muscle building, to optimize fat loss, to optimize satiety, and to keep you in a good place. We do not wanna lose muscle and we wanna see progress. So how do you know what those macros should be? Guys, I've got it right here, right here on the screen for you. My free health calculator. It gives you the macros. It gives you meal examples. It gives you timing examples. You plug in all your information, try it out. I've had a lot of people message me and tell me that it actually has worked very well for them. What you can do there is just get a good starting point. Now, go get your butt a food scale, okay? Eating about, tracking about, that's wonderful. But until you plug things in, put them on a scale, even if you just do it once in a while, you don't have to weigh everything. But I think most of us don't actually understand exactly what's in food until we take a look at it. Six ounces of chicken? is a lot less than you think it is. One serving of peanut butter is a lot less than you think it is. And oftentimes those two to 500 calorie swings per day is what's preventing you from making progress. So what'll happen is you'll identify the error in your judgment. You'll also realize once you start making those changes that that's gonna lead to actually hitting the correct calories for you to make progress. And that along with being more active, okay? It's not just cardio guys. It's not just like, okay, I'm doing 20 minutes on the treadmill. What is the rest of your day like? What is neat like? Just take the dog for more walks. Find more opportunities throughout your day to burn calories because energy in is what we consume, okay? Those calories gotta come in. We need those to survive. However, energy out, there's really very little limit on how many active calories we can burn throughout the day, okay? Being active is going to create the deficit that you need. You don't have to starve to death. All the time I hear people tell me, I got a new job and I dropped 10 pounds. What's your job? I'm a server in a restaurant on your feet all day long. I had a client lose six pounds in a week once. I asked her what she changed. She said nothing. Well, when I dug a little deeper, it turns out she got a job working in a casino as a cocktail waitress. That's right. Think about how long she was walking on an eight to 10 hour shift, 20, 30,000 steps. She dropped six pounds without changing anything else. 
because she was busy, because she was active, her mind was busy. She wasn't so focused on doing cardio. Sometimes for some people, going and doing the act of cardio is grueling, right? It's grinding. I love my cardio sessions. It's a part of my productive day. I get up, I watch some TV, a movie, whatever I need to do to kind of distract myself. But my cardio sessions are challenging, right? I'm pushing myself to get leaner. If you're not challenging yourself with the diet, with the cardio, with the consistency, with getting good sleep, you're not gonna make your progress, okay? And I love that you have a deadline. Set a deadline, set a goal. Tell me you're going to be 180 pounds before you go to Vegas. And I promise you, if you map that out on a calendar, reverse engineer it and say, I need to lose 1.65 pounds every week until I get there. I just totally made that number up out of the air. But if you actually put it in writing, if you say things to your friends, to your spouse, I'm trying to get to this number by this date, make it real. Don't just make it a theory of I'm eating a little better, I'm moving a little more, I don't know why I'm not making progress. Make it real, make these days count. Guys, the time is gonna pass anyway. Put in the work, put in the effort. I promise you, it works. It's, it's not complicated, but it does take change. And for most of us, we're very comfortable in our routine. We're very comfortable with the way our day rolls. Change your comfort level. Your new comfort level that you adjust to will get you to your goals and you'll realize you were just comfortable doing the same old crap and you could have been making progress the entire time. All right, guys, that's going to be it for me today. I hope you guys have enjoyed these videos this week. Please give me a like and a subscribe if you've been watching videos. We have been putting out content all week. I'm really pushing the envelope to get you guys more and more. We're putting out a transformation challenge. It's going to start in July. We're going to be giving away a lot of cash and prizes. I want to get you guys involved. I want to get you to your goals. Tell me what you need in the comments below, and let's have a great weekend.